Okay, here's my flange facing machine working. I'm machining down the escape pod now. And I couldn't get it set up exactly even, so one side is going to be about 10 thou off from the other side, who cares. So you can see it working on real slow speed here. I put it together and forgot to put the counterweights on and it was kind of jumpy because the pod is so light. So with the weights on it's much better. Plus I'm only taking off on one side at the moment. So you can see how the drill stays stationary turning the shaft on the angle drive and you can probably see the jaws that hold the whole thing in place. I have jaws on the inside as well but there's such a bugger to put in here I didn't bother so I just tack welded the feet on the support bars so it doesn't come out of place on me and it seems to be working quite well. Pretty smooth. My little teeny tiny excavator outside is powering this. It's a 9.9 .9 horsepower Bobcat 317 excavator. And it runs it effortlessly. It's actually running at an idle. So the submarine face is all done. I expect this will take about four or five hours. It takes 20 minutes to make one pass. And I can take 10 thou off in a pass, no problem. This one doesn't need much though. Probably four passes to do it. I do a finishing pass on the end to make it nice and smooth. So there you have it, one homemade flange facing the heat.